Hey, what's going on? It's Ryan O'Brien, uh, West Sider by birth, of course. And one of my places that I've always come uh, since I was a kid is Burdette Park. And when summer rolls around, there's so many different things you can do here at Burdette Park that we thought we'd uh, take a look around and see some of the see some of the things that you can check out here uh, for family fun this summer in Evansville. Um, so one of the things that I used to do and still do from time to time, bring the kids out here, we feed bread to the ducks, which apparently, as you can tell, I've gotten very used to people coming and giving them bread because I have no bread, yet as soon as we got out of the vehicle, here they come. Now, I am assuming they want food, but they may be coming to take us over and, and become our new duck overlords. Um, hi, how's it going? I have nothing for you. Yeah, you get it. Oh, shake it for me, baby. There you go. I like what she's got on there. That's very nice. Hi. Uh, one of the uh, things that obviously you can do here at Burdette Park is the is the miniature golf course, which uh, I've actually never played. This was not here when I was a kid, uh, and it's been around. It's probably been here for about ten or so years now, uh, but I've not I've not had a chance to get out here. But as you can see, 18 holes that stretch out through the wooded area here, very well shaded uh, for the Burdette Park. So even on those hot summer days, you come out and play, and you got the nice shade of the trees to kind of keep you cool as you kick the family's butt at mini golf. Yeah, so my family used to have reunions out here all the time. We'd rent uh, a chalet or something over that direction. And I've never understood what the point of this thing is, but we played on it all the time. It's it's part slide, part jungle gym, but the goal was just to try to get yourself up to the corner and slide down. Now, it looked much bigger when I was a kid than it does now, but I do wonder, can I still, can I still get to the top? We gotta find out. I'm going to try that again because I've got mud on my shoes. <laughs> try that again. <laughs> huh. It was a lot easier when I was a kid too. I was in better shape. Now I'm going to get mud all over my butt. I was not expecting that to be as difficult as it was. All right, so this is a park that was not here when I was a kid, and I it's only been here for a couple years, but it says, uh, welcome, I believe, welcome to the fairy forest. But if you look over this way, it's really well landscaped, I'll give them that. Uh, there's a tiny little playhouse over here. It's not super tiny, but obviously for the kids to play, a nice water feature that works its way back down to the bottom of the hill. I wanna go inside and check this out. Oh, there's something up there. What's up here? Yeah, I don't know if I want to pull on that. Now you may remember this house from the Lord of the Rings. This is where Frodo lived uh, when they came to get him for his magical quest. Is Frodo the one? Frodor? Fro you know who I'm talking about, Elijah Wood. That's who it was. Is there a way to get up here? Should you get up? There's a lot of nails poking through the ceiling. Maybe they don't want you up here. That just makes me want to get up there more, though. This part's upside down! It's upside down! So obviously the big reason uh, that you would come to Burdette Park, or at least uh, I guess one of the spotlight places, uh, is the Burdette Park Pool, which is a place I spent many, many summers at. Now when I, again to show my age a little bit, uh, when I was coming here as a kid, you only had the one, you only had the one water slide, and it was like a big deal, and that line would go, and it goes all the way up into the, the woods there, but the line for it would be all the way down here at the bottom, and it didn't matter. You just you went down the slide, you got off, you got right back in line, you just did that all day long. And then it wasn't until years later that they added these extra ones. Uh, but still, I mean, who doesn't love a good water slide? And then you've got the kids' pool, and you've got the deep pool, and you've got the diving boards will be up uh, before too long as they're kind of getting ready things, getting things ready for 
uh, the summer of 2017. But uh, yeah, yeah, I spent a lot of time here uh, over the summers. Yeah, so not a huge campground here at Burnett Park. Um, I've never camped here before, but you know, for people that are coming in from out of town and enjoy the outdoors, there are, um, I'm not exactly sure how many sites they have here. But obviously you can see there are some people here. It looks like a couple of loops, some here in the back as well. Uh, this is the first time they've actually driven back this way. All right, so one of the newer features here at Burnett Park, if you like to hike, obviously there's plenty of places here to hike and there's uh, several just dirt trails that kind of worm their way around the uh, around the park here. But this one here, this is, this is fairly new within the last few years or so, completely paved. You can run on it, you can walk on it, you can bike it, bring your dogs out here and walk them on it, but it's a long one too. Uh, and this will run all the way down this hill and worm its way through the woods and then it crosses Nurnburn Road a little ways down. So we are here by the campground and it worms its way down, crosses Nurnburn and then up a hill and eventually, I'm going a little fast, but it ends up at USI, which is a couple miles west of us yet from where we're standing. So if you enjoy a good hike or uh, or just want to get outside and enjoy the outdoors, you know, you can get as far as you want, turn around, and come back, go all the way to USI, completely up to you. But uh, on a day like today where sun's shining, it's 70 or so degrees, it's uh, it's kind of a nice, quiet time and place to walk. All right, so uh, not, I guess new to some degree when you consider the age of the rest of the park, but uh, this is Discovery Lodge, which is on the back corner of Burdette Park. And this has become a popular, I've been to a couple of different weddings, wedding receptions here. You can kind of do both. Uh, my sister-in-law got married here and had the reception here, so you had the wedding on one side of the building, uh, took up about half of it, and then the reception was was on the other end of things. It's a very nice building, and uh, it has become very popular for gatherings and, and parties and those kind of things. Uh, and then if you've got young kids, and you come to one of these wedding receptions, as we all know, uh, young kids between the ages of, let's say, two and, and you know six or seven, don't like to sit around for a real long time. Well, fortunately for them, I don't know if we'll be able to get a decent shot of this or not, but there's a pretty sweet playground up here uh, that is part of Discovery Lodge. And it's got your standard monkey bars, wall climbs, bridges, uh, plastic slides, and let's be honest here, uh, it's for the adults who still think they're kids too, like me. So you've got tennis courts back here at Burnett Park as well, and these are free to use. Uh, I don't think they hold competitions here. I could be wrong about that, but I don't I don't think they do. I think they're just open to the public for anybody that wants to come out and, uh, and play a little tennis, whether competitively or just for recreation exercise kind of stuff. But they've got one, two, three, four uh, tennis courts back here that are that are free to use as part of uh, what they have to offer. All right, so that's a quick tour of Burdette Park. Again, a place I spent uh, many, many summers of my childhood and have brought my kids to a number of times. Admission to the park is free. Uh, so if you wanna come just to maybe fish at the lake, as long as you've got a uh, fishing license to do so, they don't charge you to fish. Playgrounds are free. You wanna hike a trail, that doesn't cost you anything. There is admission to the pool. Mini golf will cost you a little bit extra and of course, uh, if you want to use one of the cabins or the chalets, you'll have to rent those as well, uh, which you can find all that information on their website uh, about that. And they are looking for summer help. So if you've got somebody, uh, either yourself or somebody living in your house that needs to get out and earn their keep, uh, maybe, a, maybe a summer gig here at Burdette Park could be it. But again, check all that out on their website and then uh, get out here to Burdette Park and enjoy the, the great outdoors.